Hey, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use your memory to manifest your specific person. This is a very potent technique, and it's also a very easy technique to get into the state of the wish fulfilled. And I'm actually kind of surprised that I haven't talked about it yet on my channel because it's it's just a very easy and potent way to manifest your specific person back. So I'm going to dive into all the details of how to do this in this video. Before I jump in, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Please hit that like button and also comment below after you watch the video. I'd love to hear all your thoughts on, on what I'm speaking about. And also know that I offer one-on-one -on -one sessions. There's links for that below and links for all my courses below. Okay, so how to use your memory to manifest your specific person. This is kind of an obvious technique, which is probably why I haven't done a video on it yet. It, it didn't even really occur to me until a couple days ago that, that, oh, this is a very, very easy way for people to get into the feeling or the state of the wish fulfilled in being with your specific person. And so what the technique is, is, you know, if your specific person is someone that you have been in relationship with, this is only really going to work if you have been in relationship with your specific person already. So if they're an ex or someone you've had some sort of relationship with, if you use your memory of how it felt to be with this person at a certain point in time, so if you go back into your memory banks and you remember a time where the two of you maybe first started dating and it felt amazing or maybe your specific person was pursuing you pursuing you at a certain point in time um, maybe they were really into you maybe they were showering you with love if you have any memories of your specific person loving you and um, wanting to be with you then using that memory tapping into both the visuals of what that looked like and also the corresponding feeling of what it felt like to interact with your specific person in that way, this is an amazing way to get into the state of the wish fulfilled. So again, the state of the wish fulfilled, this is what manifests your desired reality. And if you're manifesting your specific person, obviously your wish fulfilled is being in a relationship with this person. So if you have memories of the two of you being together, drop deep into those memories. Remember what it felt like to be in a relationship with them. Simmer in that experience, enjoy that experience, and use that to cultivate the feeling of being in a relationship with them. And by doing this simple technique, you are getting yourself into the state of the wish fulfilled and you are going to manifest what you desire. One little thing I want to say about this of what not to do, you know, make sure when you're going into memories of you and your specific person that you're not feeling sad that you're not together anymore, that you're not feeling lonely, that you're not feeling like, oh, that's what we were, but we're not that anymore. What you want to do instead, of course, is go into that memory and feel it as if it's happening right now. Okay, this is the beauty of our imaginations, of our inner worlds. We are able to cultivate any feeling we want. And so by using those memories, you can really tap into what it felt like to be loved by your specific person. And in doing so, you're creating a very potent experience of the wish fulfilled. Do this over and over and over again as much as you possibly can, and you're going to manifest what you desire. Thank you so much for being here with me in this video. I love being here with you. Again, like and share the video, leave a comment below, and I will see you soon. Bye.